to all the fans of Philippine made products, wholesalers, distributors, retailers, e-commerce players, and anyone who just loves Philippine products, like I said, welcome to Planet 63 TV. I'm your host, my name is Ferdinand Soriano. I'm also the founder of a company called Planet 63 TV, which is a product procurement and logistics management company. And you are now watching Planet 63 TV, ladies and gentlemen. The reason for Planet 63 TV is that what were the purpose of it is to empower Philippine manufacturers to create, you know, to have uh, give them opportunities or create opportunities for them here in the U.S. market. For this segment, what we're going to be doing is talking about news updates regarding U.S. and Philippine trade topics, as well as interview um, influencers or movers and shakers or VIPs, whatever you want to call them, regarding you know making things happen in the. Uh, in the import export world, international trades. And also we're gonna be talking about the trending Philippine products, which I feel was going to create a lot of uh, you know, popularity here in the US market. And also we're gonna be doing a free sample giveaway. But before we do all of that, I don't wanna keep my co-host as well as my, uh, well, the person I'm gonna be interviewing today uh, waiting there, but I wanna go ahead and introduce to you. Um, I've gotten to know this gentleman Really good guy. He's already out and running, and meaning that he's already out in the in the community promoting Philippine products himself. But uh, you know, I, I, I'm very honored to get to know this gentleman as I continue to do that, and he's kind enough to be on this interview. But I want to go ahead and introduce to you the Trade Commissioner uh, in the Los Angeles area of the Philippine Trade and Investment Center here, here in Los Angeles. I'd like to welcome Eric Onar. Hey, Eric, what's going on? Well, viewers. Is it okay if I call you Eric? Of course. <laughs> well, you know, you want to be a little bit formal, I suppose, you know, because I've never had a trade commissioner uh, in, my, in my show before, and this is an honor for you to be here also to support the, the, the channel. So with that being said, I want to go ahead and start the, uh, the, uh, the show. But before we do all of that, I want you to stay tuned. Hopefully you guys will stay tuned because we're doing a free sample giveaway. And that free sample giveaway has something to do with this car, and we'll explain a little bit later, okay? So keep that in mind. All right. Before we do all of the fun stuff, and, and not to say that Eric Elnar is not fun, I want to go ahead and take this time to introduce again to you Eric Elnar, the Trade Commissioner of Los Angeles Philippine Trade and Investment Center. So I'm going to give this time to talk to him a little bit and, you know, have a Greet everyone in my in the this the in the Planet C three T uh, TV channel. So hey Eric, you want to go say a little little bit of something? Yeah. Um. So hi again to all Planet C three um, viewers out there. Um. So as as Ferdinand already mentioned, I'm uh, actually a new guy here at the Philippine Consulate here in uh, LA. I started July first. Um, I'm from the Department of Trade and Industry in the Philippines. My main mandate or my work here involves promoting exports from the Philippines as well as investments from the U.S. going back to the Philippines. Now, um, Ferdinand and, and the rest of the Filipino community um, in L.A. gave me a very warm welcome. Um, I feel that, you know, I didn't feel any homesickness, especially in the first few months because of uh you know the warm welcome given to me by the Phil, Phil American uh, chambers and also the Phil, Phil American business people here in the U.S. Well what's so great is the first time I met you was at a chamber of commerce and I was really impressed with you because a lot you know a lot of people would probably look at the lay of the land first but the reality was is that you were off and running already talking to everyone in the community which to me in my mind it is I know in my mind I realize you're very dynamic and very progressive and you're a go-getter because you just want to get right to it. You want to go ahead and meet everybody who could possibly help you know do all of that and you did all that so far and, and the amount of time that you've been here like it, with the chamber. So how's it going for you so far? Everybody seems to be you know taking a liking to you because you are that. Well, um, I realize that um, to learn more about an area or country. You really have to go, you know, uh, in the ground and, uh, yeah, um, you know, hit the ground running. Uh, you know, I also believe that uh, the best uh, way to learn about um, a new place is, uh, you know, talking to people, learning um, 
from from them getting experiences from from uh, all the interactions that uh, I, I have here in, in LA. So um, North America is definitely a new um, area for me, new market for me. I've been around. I've been uh, in Southeast Asia mostly for the first part of my career, and uh, but my last posting was in the Middle East where there is also a sizable Filipino community. Um, and I see that as well here. And, um, you know, that, that, that also helps in, you know, uh, making me feel at home. Well, you definitely are home. And, you know, your second home, obviously. And, and also, I, excuse me for my, the little glitch there on the screen, because, <laughs> of course, I'm not going to deny that you it away didn't happen. But anyway, going back to what you were saying, Eric, it kind of distracted me a little bit, obviously, a little technical difficulty there. But, you know, that's the one thing that I, I you can count on when it comes to Los Angeles and, and Southern California area. There's over 4 million, I think it's over 4 million Filipinos here now. So you got your work cut out for you, even in the in, even in the areas that you're assigned to, okay? There's a lot. I mean, majority of the Filipino Americans are here in the Southern California area. I'm sure Northern California will, will debate me on, you know, which is better, but the reality is, and I think that a lot of the times you're going to get into a situation where it's going to be a um, a good market for you. And I'm going to go ahead and take care of this little technical difficulty that I'm having. Okay. No worries. Well, um, yeah, I mean, it's it's, uh, it's new to me, but um, it's also something that's familiar, I would say, because of. Um, you know, being a Filipino and and and, and uh, being assigned to um, areas where there are also a lot of Filipino communities abroad, um, Southern California is really, you know, second home to me. Yeah, well, definitely. And I'm, we're going to get a little bit more into your background and what your directives are, because I definitely have some questions for you. But for, for the sake of our audience, as well as all the different things that we have to show in the show, I want to go ahead and move forward. Now, this segment, we're going to come back to Eric a little bit later, but in this segment now that we're about to go into, I, I'm a big fan of news. I'm a big fan of anybody who, who, who wants to help or understand a certain market. You want to know what's going on between the two countries, and that's what Planet 63 TV is about. What we're about is really trying to uh, you know, get a gauge on the relationships between the Philippines and the U.S., you know, and vice versa, of course, in terms of trade. So in, in, the, in these shows, in these uh, future shows, that's what we'll focus on. So I'll, I'll go ahead and maybe get a, get a headline and discuss that a little bit with my guests and see what they think. But, you know, today's special because whatever headline I have, you'll definitely know what it's all about. So let's go into that real quick for all of the people who want to know a little bit more about the Philippines in terms of what it's doing to become more competitive in the global market. 